There are going to be trials and tribulations. Life's going to come in hula hoops for you, right, guys? And it just blind blows me how the greater the greater of something you're, you're the greater impact that you're trying to make the more difficult shit is going to be for you right type seven in the chat box if you guys are resonating with me right now the uh, is you when you committed to saying okay i actually want to go out here and do something special right i actually want to do something with my life and all of a sudden all these random situations all these random emotions all these random thoughts are becoming internal right guys it's crazy to me and so the reason why vision is so important is because vision is borrowing from the future to be able to get you through today's situations, right? And so we're going to be talking a bit, little bit about vision and going in depth with vision. And so one of the first concepts, guys, that I really want to go down to and I really want to talk to you guys about is discipline. Type, put, put discipline down on your paper, right, guys? Because if you want to be a leader, and if you're not a leader, you're a follower, right? And it's okay to follow for a little bit, but eventually you want to lead. And the root of leadership is discipline, right, guys? And so I'm going to tell you exactly, you know, what discipline is. It is self-imposed standards, self-imposed standards, right, guys? So it's, it's not when, – when you're self-imposed, you don't need to be motivated. You don't need to be – encouraged you don't need to somebody to coach you and tell you what to do when to do it you show up for yourself because you have discipline right guys and so you're not a leader unless you have discipline period if you're not disciplined with your schedule if you're not disciplined with you know your personal development if you're not disciplined and showing up if you're not disciplined for showing up for yourself and doing what you need to do guys you're, you're not a leader right you're a follower and and guys, one thing I want you to understand is when I say you need to become self-imposed, this is to your goals, right? So you need to have discipline towards your goals, whatever your goals may have been, whatever your goals may, ha may have be, right? You need to make sure that you have discipline. So guys, discipline equals vision. That's the reason why I started off talking about discipline, because your discipline equals your vision, right? And the reason why I say that here in Proverbs, guys, if any of you guys, you know, the Bible is something that I read. I'm not telling you guys, if you don't want to read the Bible, you don't got to read the Bible. But me, I read the Bible because it literally, I've read so many books and I've listened to so many different audios. And one thing that I came to find out was most of the context that we listen to on a daily basis or the books that we're reading out of, a lot of the information stemmed from that, from the Bible, right? And so one thing that I, I read in there, guys, in Proverbs, you know, this, it goes towards what we're saying. It says, 29, 29, 18, Proverbs 29, 18, without vision, the people perish. Right, guys? Top seven in the chat box, if you heard that before. You know, without vision, the people perish. And, guys, when I first thought, when I first heard this, you know, I was thinking about, okay, without vision, you know, people die off, which is true, right? Because the moment you're no longer living for purpose, that's, be that's when you begin to die off. But then when I really start to look more in depth and what this actually meant, Guys, you know the word perish, the word perish means thrown off, right? So without vision, you get distracted, right? Without vision, you get thrown off from your goals. And so I really feel like that's important for you guys because now you can have self-control. You can have self-discipline because you have an established vision, right? Vision dictates who you hang out with. Vision dictates what you listen to, what books you read, what do you do on a daily basis, right? Right, because the moment you know where you want to go and you know what you want to do and you know what you're trying to achieve, it's easy to identify what, what the things that are not aligning you and taking you down the road in which you're headed to go. Does that make sense, right? You can cut the distractions because you know this is where I want to go. And if this road over here is not taking me closer to my destination, to my destiny, then it's easy to weed it off and, and consider it a distraction, right guys? And so um, people are attracted to discipline, right? A lot of people, they ask me all the time, you know, how do I attract people into my business? You know, how, how, how do I build this business? Guys, it's being disciplined, right? Nobody likes to follow somebody who is inconsistent and, and what they're doing, right? Inconsistent and cloudy minded, you know, with their vision. And so, you know, think about it this way, guys, an athlete, right? Athletes, 
a, a pair of Nikes, right? So say Michael Jordan, for example. Michael Jordan, people say, you want to be like Mike, right? So what did they do? Nike went ahead. They, they endorsed Michael Jordan. And most people are buying his shoes. Why? Because they want to be like Mike, right? They are selling Michael Jordan's disciplines, right? All of the times he showed up, all the jump shots he's put in, right? They're selling his discipline to the public and basically saying, if you buy this pair of shoes, you could be like Mike. That's, that's the vision that they're selling to people. So they're selling his initial disciplines, right, guys? And so this is, this, is, this is something that I want you guys to understand that when you go ahead and you have a vision, it is easy to, you live like a, it simplifies your life, right? You live a more composed life. You live a more tight of a life. You know what you don't want to do. It's crazy because, you know, just the other night I was invited out to the club, right? I was invited out to the club and, you know, people invite me out to places all the time. And I really thought about going, right? I was like, okay, I want to go out here. I want to have fun. It's nothing wrong with going out to the club and having fun family, right? But I was able to really look at things and say, you know what? I don't, when, when I'm looking to get something done, my life isn't as loose. I don't have as much free time. I'm more geared in and locked in to what it is that I'm trying to do and accomplish in that very moment in time, because that's going to lead me closer to my destiny, right? To my destination. And so guys, the reason why I'm going over vision so much right now is because there's a lot of you guys on this call right now that are having issues in your business. There's a lot of you that are having issues in your life, but because you're going by your sight and not by your vision, you get distracted. You stop showing up. You stop putting in the time because you're, you're going off of what is visible to you, right? I know Roberto, you know, it's crazy about having Roberto on this call. This is, this is, a, this is a complete example. Me and this dude were platinum 150s when I first met him, right? We were on a Zoom call just like this. It was mad late at night in New York. It was evening time here in Sacramento. We were both P150s. Neither one of us, both of us had a vision to go in, for going chairman. Neither one of us knew how we were going to get it done, right? And to see how, how strong vision is and how we were just exchanging ideas at that time, trying to figure it out, trying to figure out what's the next move, how we really finna get it done. Both of us did something very similar. We cut out all the distractions and we follow our vision, not our sight, because our sight at that moment in time, we, was, we, were, we were struggling looking for a breakthrough, right? But we were borrowing from the future in those moments and times to get us through, right guys? So maybe some of you on this call right now, you know, are, are going through something. I want you to write down your goals and realign, right guys? And so let me go ahead and continue real quick, right? So your vision also controls your choices, right guys? And so the next concept that I really want to get into is attitude. I'm going to wrap everything together, right? So we got discipline. Discipline feeds your vision, right? It helps you get your vision accomplished. Your vision now has to be backed up by your attitude or your spirits, right? What attitude are you taking every single day? You know, I had a conversation today with somebody that's in my organization. He actually works here in the front office of my condos now. It's crazy, right? And we were talking about feeling, right? When you feel, when, when you're having that feeling, and every single day you're operating from gratitude and you're having a proper attitude, things align. And he was telling me this story. He was like, Keanu, you know, I've been really into real estate. I've really been into investing. This has been my vision. When I think about it, it makes me feel good, right? Even in the hard times, it makes me feel good at where I know I want to go. And I know things always align as long as I'm feeling good. And he, at the time he was only working at the, he was working at a club here in Sacramento downtown and he had got laid off on one of his other jobs. But this entire time, his vision was in the real estate. It was for progression. So he wasn't looking in his current situation. He ended up getting a deal to work here at this complex that, I'm, um, that I live at. And now he's being introduced to the top 12 people that actually created this entire economy. I mean, this, whole, this entire community, right guys? And so it, it just made me put things in a perspective because I always listen to Kevin Trudeau. And he always talks about, you know, you have to really internalize the feeling in order for it to become your reality, 
right? You have to internalize what it will feel like once you get your vision accomplished, because that will prepare you for, that will propel you forward. Because whatever you internalize is what you, what you end up experiencing. Right, guys? And so how, what, what is your attitude? Ask yourself that. What is your attitude when you're showing up every single day? Are you excited? Are you motivated? Are you, or do you see your future actually being realistic? Do, are you walking in the authority and the confidence that your vision is already done? You're just waiting for time to catch up. Right, guys? And so that's something that you need to begin to ask yourself. And once you do that, you can, you'll find this being a lot less stressful, right? This process is stressful because this shit gets hard, right? It's difficult dealing with other people's emotions. And it's difficult dealing with your own emotions, right? It's difficult when you're working with somebody, you're giving some people your time, your energy, your efforts, and time and years and years and hours of, of information that you had to go and find, right? And you're able to cut the learning curve for somebody and they give up on themselves faster than what you're giving up on them, right? I understand that it's like you take, sometimes you take two steps forward and then you get knocked back four steps, right? I understand that sometimes, guys, you know, you're paying, you're, you're on your last dime, you're trying to make it happen, you're trying to tune into every event. I know you're putting $5 inside of your gas tank to make sure that you get to the event, you're picking up other people to go to the event, and then people quit on you, right? You show up, you, you're told to go to events, you're going to events, you're going to events, you're going to events, but you're not getting what it is that you want in this moment in time. I understand. Right, I understand having to pay the price, even though you can't afford to pay the price. Right, I, I remember the days when I was paying my auto ship, and I was like, okay, do I want to pay for my subscription right now? Can I afford to pay for my subscription right now, or should I pay for this bill over here? But I'm gonna pay for my subscription anyways, right? Because I'm moving off of my faith, right, guys. And I want you to understand that faith is a verb, right? It's it's a verb, right, guys. Faith is in your movement, it's in your actions, and your faith has to be in your vision. Am I making sense, guys? right? Every single trial and tribulation, every single one of you guys, every uncomfort zone that none of you guys right now, or some of you guys don't want to break through and, and pursue through, you have to. You have to, right? You should be welcoming uncomfort zones into your life right now. You should be welcoming trials and tribulations in your life right now. Why? Because they're a setup for greatness. You can't help nobody when you ain't went through nothing. And that's what blows my mind. People want the results, right? People want the success, right? They want all these things, but you don't want that. You don't want what comes with it. You just want the glorification, right? You just want the glory. You just want the celebration. You just want to be on the spotlight, but you don't want to do what it takes. You want all the attention, right? You want to get called to speak on stage. You want to get called to do corporate calls, but are you willing to do what it takes to get to it? Are you willing to make the sacrifices necessary to get to it? Are you willing to stay in line and wait your turn to get to it? Right, guys, I know right now there's a lot of you guys that are maybe in a different situation. I've been there, done that, right? But I want you guys to understand something. Your consistency and your endurance will always take you further than just your talents. Every single time. Right. Doing the things you don't want to do, family. And I'm only telling you guys from experience. You know, there's been plenty of times I could have called it off. Right. In situations and not showed up. But I showed up. Why? Because I understood I got to pay the price right now so that I can pay any price later. Right. I had to understand that if I gave up right now, I would end up back where I started in the first place. So the only way is forward. The only way is up. I, it's too much evidence, right, guys? I want you to start taking this personal. I'm just talking to you guys right now before I get out the way of my mans, right? But I don't feel like I'm on a time limit right now, right? So, guys, I want you to start taking it personal. Do you think, do you truly believe that there are people right now accomplishing your goals here with this vehicle and there's something in you that is not allowing you to do it? Why do you feel like you're less than people that are evidently accomplishing it's your attitude. It's your perspective, right? Let's stop being victims to our situation in 2020. And let's start becoming victors in 2020, right? 
let's stop being passive in 2020 and let's begin to move with more confidence and authority in what you know and who you are, who you're made from. And then internalize this self image that you have for yourself. David M. Onitia was talking about it today, right? And it's something I've been studying self image. How do you view yourself? Right? Because once you view yourself a specific way, you will realize you have nothing to prove to nobody. You speak your mind, you speak your heart, and you do what it is that you desire to do. Right, family? And so to kind of wrap everything up, on my end, right, your vision is going to take you further than what your sight can see. And if you cannot see what's evident in front of you right now, you need to begin to borrow from your future. Okay, family, your discipline is going to help you get your goals accomplished. What are your daily routines? What are your habits? What habits are you replacing? Or what bad habits are you replacing with good habits? Right? When you, when, you, when you don't feel like doing it, having conscious competence and unconscious competence, right? You're aware of what you need to do, so do what you know you need to do rather than not do what you don't feel like doing. Do what it is that you know you're supposed to do regardless on how you feel in the present moment. That's how you achieve. That's the difference between the successful and the successors and the people that quit and fail, right? And so, guys, you know, this next speaker that I'm about to be bringing onto this call, right, I know he's going to drop some gems. Like I said, you know, I've been able to get to know my guy Roberto now. You know, it's going on literally um, two years. It's going on like two years of some change, you know. I've really been able to watch this individual just come from the ground up, guys. And, you know, it's wild to me. My belief is built so much by seeing how much success um, Roberto is having right now because – you see a lot of people get, in, get inside of network marketing companies, right? You see a lot of people, average people. But when you literally watch somebody go from zero to 100 at the same rate as you, and you see success is working for you and these principles and concepts are working not just for you, but they're working with somebody else and working for somebody else, guys, it does something to your belief system. Right, this dude is literally um, getting out there, putting himself out there, helping people, freeing the minds of people, helping people grow, helping people develop from all over the world. You know, he's leaving, he's right now, he's one of the top chairmen here in this company. He's one of the top, you know, mentors in this company, helping people from all across the globe, guys. So, I def, I highly, highly recommend if you haven't been taking notes already, you're about to be hearing from somebody right now who is one of the most slept on chairman in this entire company one of the most under overqualified chairman 100s in my opinion in this company and has one of the most bright mindsets out of a lot of people that i've ever met right guys with with the with with the willingness to serve i hit him up i said look bro let's run this call he said bet when what time let's get it promoted let's get it popping right guys that's the kind of servitude of people that i respect i love and I care about Roberto. So I appreciate everything that you're doing, you know, for the company, for your organization, for our organization. And the floor is yours, brother. Are you on the line? Oh, let me go ahead and unmute you. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that introduction. I appreciate you a lot, guys. Drop a one, one, one for my man Q on the chat. You know, this guy talk amazing. This guy really believes in what he's saying. That's was most important, guys, listen to those who believe what they're saying. Because some people speak to speak. You know, you could feel the passion in his tone. You could feel the passion in his voice. He really believes that things is coming out of his mouth. You know, literally, guys, we met at the beginning of our journey. Literally, when we started this company, there was a Facebook group that brought in every single new member. And that's actually how we met. That was 2017, guys. So we definitely did not know that we were gonna be here today together as Chairman 10 going on Chairman 25, impacting lives all over the world. But what we did know is we were on the right platform with the right people and we just had to believe that this was possible. Like he said, without vision, men will perish. 
And that's something really, really, really important that you got to keep in mind because a lot of people out there are walking with no faith, no vision, no direction. They don't know where they're going. How can you go somewhere where you don't know the, where the direction leads to? It's like walking in the dark. If you don't know the direction, you're going to walk in circles. And that's something that we both shared. You know, it was crazy when I saw him at the chairman retreat because I'm like, yo, we're both here. You remember when we were nothing in this company, when nobody knew us, when we were trying to figure out how we were going to invest in cryptocurrencies and be able to get out of the situations that we were in, guys. Like, it was really back in the day before any of you guys knew me. You know, no, mostly nobody knew me. I was new to network marketing. You know, this is one of the first people I met in this company. And I just want to say, guys, this is one of the best individuals in this company. You know, I'm not saying that just because I'm here on this call and in his face, you know, I would say that behind his back as well. It's one of the best individuals in the company. How do I know that? Because the people that are willing to give you your respects while you can still smell them, like we said, you give roses while you can still smell them, that's the most important people because you see that there's no ego in the way because we're all here at the end of the day to grow and to win and to help our families. It's not who's better than who, who's doing what, it's let's help each other lead to the promised land. Because if you notice, the people that you have in this company believe in you more than your own friends, your own family. And why you think is that? Because we all share the same vision. We all have visions of driving nice cars and living in nice apartments, retiring our parents, helping the world become a better place. But instead of making excuses, we made decisions. We made a decision to be great. Because how can we teach the rest if we don't start with us? Be the change you want to see in the world. So it has to start with you. You have to change the mindset. And this is a very, very important call because mindset, guys, be skill set anytime. Everybody wants to work on their skill sets and wonder why they don't succeed. Your mind is more important than the skill sets that you own, guys. Think about it. Thoughts become feelings. Feelings become actions. Actions become results. That's why the book is called Think and Grow Rich. It doesn't say work hard and grow rich. It doesn't say become the best skilled and grow rich. Think and grow rich. Because what a man, woman can see in their mind, they can hold in their hands, guys. That's all a chairman is, is an understanding and a level of belief. Because trust me, and Q could definitely attest to this, when we went from P5K to chairman, we did not work harder. We did not do more. We were just at the right time and the right place. And all the faith that we had this whole time accumulated to that last push. And that's what, like he said, is doing the daily disciplines, guys. Success is not one day you wake up and boom. Jim Rohn says success is right discipline done every single day think about it as a drop of water that's how success will work for you every time you pour into that cup you know you're one step closer for it running over and i'm very glad he brought up david and monite because he definitely somebody who really believed himself into greatness and you know what's the craziest part that me and q are the same age it took david seven years to his six figures we did it in two so we're the new wave of leaders. We're the new school network marketers. And we're here to show you what took us from nothing to the promised land. But you have to believe, guys. A lot of people quit on their dreams too early. And this is a something I heard not too long ago. And it really stuck with me. People believe in God, but don't believe in themselves. How are you expecting the universe to believe in you if you don't believe in you? So, yeah, you can ask God for all these favors and all these things that you want to get accomplished. But if you don't believe in you, how can he bless you? Like we said earlier, thoughts become feelings. Feelings become actions. Actions become results. So if you have the wrong thought, you're going to have the wrong feeling. You're going to take the wrong actions. And then you're going to get the results you don't want. And then you're here saying, oh, it's my boss, it's Q, it's the business, my stop loss hit, the comp plan. No, it's you. 
you had the wrong thoughts that caused the wrong actions. So you got to take accountability. That's why I, I love, you know, when this man speaks, because he's speaking from the heart. A lot of people talk script that guys, a lot of people want you to believe things that are not even there. Listen to those who really believe in what they're saying, because we literally come from nothing. Like there's no more evidence. We could start popping up pictures of where we come from. You probably won't believe it. We made it this far. Like I'm literally the first person to touch six figures in the block I grew up in. That's sad, guys. That block probably been there 150 years. I'm the first person ever. And I don't want to glorify myself, but when I see that, I'm like, why, what, why, what stopped everybody else here from doing it? Because they didn't believe. They thought that they were a product of their environment, guys. You create your environment by the things you have here, by the people you surround yourself by. You know, I'd rather talk to somebody like you all day, every day, and to talk to somebody around here who doesn't have the same drive as me, the same vision as me, because your surrounding will determine who you're going to be. If you can't change your circle, change your circle. Okay, that probably went over your head. Let me slow that one down. If you can't change your circle, if you can't change the people around you, then change your circle. Move yourself to a different circle. Because when me and Q was actually in the Dominican Republic, every single person on that beach, on that resort, was a six-figure earner or up. So the type of conversations was different. The food we ate was different. The air was different. The rooms we stayed in, guys, could fit at least everybody on this call standing up for one person. So we slept in rooms that literally fit 60, 70 people, jacuzzi, balcony, bathroom, king-size beds. We earned those things. And now we're going to go on a company cruise, guys. So we're going to get to spend more time together, have more of those conversations. And look, it's somebody from the East Coast, New York, somebody in Sacramento, West Coast, completely different backgrounds, completely different ethnicity. We grew up differently. We grew up around different households with different friends, and we still accomplished the same mission because we had the same vision, the same dreams to being great. And great people attract to each other because it's something you can't make up. It has to be that passion, that fire within you that drives you because yes, it's going to get hard. Yes, it's going to become difficult. Yes, people will quit on you. Just don't quit on yourself because you're all you got. How can you change the world? How can you impact lives if you stop impacting you? And if you're having a very rough time right now, you're going through one of your worst moments, I want you to wake up, whatever time you're going to wake up, don't touch your phone, go to YouTube and put Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, Eric Thomas, Bob Proctor, and listen to these people till you feel better. And I promise you, your days are going to start looking different. because. I'm not a person that's very disciplined when it comes to doing things at a certain time, but I found that just taking this time for myself created that much difference. Because instead of you waking up, watching your messages, you probably see a bad text you wasn't trying to read, now your whole day is going to go downhill from there. But if you start with personal development and your mindset and putting every good thought, good vibrations into what you believe in, you're going to wake up that bed. You're going to be feel powerful. You're going to feel empowered. And once you feel empowered, you can go and empower somebody else. And that's what this is all about, guys. This is about how much do you believe in you? And are you willing to weather the storm? You know, um, this guy, Fabulous, has a great quote on his new song. He says, when it rains, it pours. Are you going to be here to weather the storm till the sun shines again? So we know when it gets bad, it's going to get bad. We know that already. So when it rains, it pours. We already know that. But are you going to weather the storm till the sun shines again? And you know what's the craziest part? You know, I was having a conversation with a loved one of mine, and I was actually telling this person that. I'm like, we might be going through a difficult time right now. This might be happening to you right now, but everybody on this call, think about this. When it's raining, if you keep driving, will you find a place with no rain? Really think about that. If it's raining currently where you are standing at, and let's say you drive a couple of miles up, it's not gonna be raining over there. 
It's going to be raining where you came at, but not where you're going. Same thing in your life, guys. It could be stormy right now, but you can weather the storm because it's a proven fact that nothing lasts forever. Hardship is but a phase. Like, literally, it's only a phase in your life to teach you how to become stronger so you could deal with life's pain. Like, you see, no pain, no gain. So you have to go, even when you go to the gym, you have to go to pain, to your muscles to grow. In business, you have to go through pain to build that endurance and to be able to get on these calls and teach people on what you went through so you can cut their learning curve. Because now what you can do is what you can teach. Because you could be the best in the world. If you don't know how to teach it to nobody, that literally is never going to duplicate and it's never going to grow into anything. Because we can't be you. And you can't be us. But we can show you the mentality and the skills that we acquired for you to follow and for you to be able to put yourself in the same position. So guys, you know, I thank you for being on this call. I definitely want to do a giveaway and we definitely should do another call like this again. So guys, I'm going to drop on the chat. There's a new, new video I just dropped on YouTube. I just started my vlog. So all you got to do is like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to be choosing a winner tomorrow morning. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe on that link I just dropped. And I'm going to be choosing a winner tomorrow. I'm either going to send you $50 in Bitcoin so you can put in your trading account or keep as an investment, or I will send you a book of your choice because I want you guys to develop into greater people. You know, me and Q are definitely going to get on these calls a lot more often because I feel like we have something very valuable to share with each other. And while we're on the cruise, I'm actually going to put him on my blog. So you're going to see one of the episodes is going to be me and him sipping margaritas in the poolside at the cruise. But guys, definitely watch the channel and watch that video because I'm talking about dream building, which is what we're talking about now, vision. If you want a Mercedes Benz, I know my guy Benji's on the call. He actually went to the Mercedes Benz dealership and sat down in the car because how do you know what you want if you never experienced it? How do you know you want a Lamborghini and not a Ferrari? How do you know that you want a condo and not a house? If you weren't there, if you didn't get to experience it, once you taste $200 steak, guys, it's going to be a lot different. Trust me. Me and Q had literally dinner on a boat. We literally had dinner on a boat eating lobsters that were longer than our freaking arms, guys. We were like, wow, this is what it's meant to live. We were dancing. We were having fun. We was on a yacht in the middle of the water in Punta Cana. So just imagine the scenery. It was pitch black, guys. We was literally in the middle of the ocean. Couldn't see anything but us. I'm like, wow, look, look what happens when you believe. Look at the other side of success. So literally, guys, you get, you're learning from two people who don't need more clarity. We have seen it almost everything. We have literally seen how this can change your life because it happened to us. It happened to us. It's not something that we read in a book. It's not something that we watch online. It's something that we're living on a day-to-day -day basis. And I saw somebody in the chat write that they want a spaceship. Make it happen. Make it happen. Be the first person to do network marketing and own a spaceship. Why not? Like, don't be scared to have these crazy dreams because these dreams are going to take you and your family to the next level. And definitely learning from a guy like this you're definitely going to get that value because he always wants more. He's always going out for more. And those are the people you got to stick around, guys, because most people, believe it or not, die at 21 and find out at 65, guys. Most people die at 21 and find out to the 65. We're trying to live now. You heard what Drake said. F trying to be rich when I'm 40. I'm trying to make it now. We're going to be millennial millionaires. We're going to be the top elites of our time. But we have to believe that's going to happen. We have to put that energy out there. We have to be out here letting the universe know that we did not come to play, that we came to win, and we came to do it together. No ego, no pride. We are brothers in this. We are brother and sister in this. Let's walk together. Because at the other side, it's only going to be us. 
the top is lonely because you ain't helped nobody get there. That's the only reason the top could be lonely for somebody. Because literally that chairman retreat was the top. And we were together, oh, almost 100 of us. 100 people winning, 100 different families, 100 different communities. People flew in from Europe. People flew in from Latin America. Different people winning at the same time, at the same moment, on the same platform. Just know that with the same excuses you're making right now, somebody took them and won. And that's something very important. With the same excuses that you are using right now, somebody else took them and won. Your upline didn't help you? Well, our upline sometimes didn't help us. You lost people? We lost more people than you've ever had. <laughs> We've lost more people than you've ever had in your team part of the game is part of the process this is what we wanted right so life is going to test you to see is this really what you want you want to be rich you want to be wealthy you want to have residual income i'm gonna test you right now let me see if you really about that life let me see if you really believe all these things you say on these calls life is going to do that to you like he said the greater the challenge i mean the greater the goal the greater the challenge guys why you think when you have a job things don't go wrong in your life because you wake up, you go to work, you do the work, you come home. You wake up, you go to work. There's no difficulty in that. So your life flows at a normal, calm level. But when you say you want to be great and you want to be a millionaire, it's like all these growth pains come. It's like, no, no, you can't do that. You can't be that big. You can't make it happen. And all these doubtful thoughts are going to climb into your brain. And people that had dreams and failed are going to tell you, you can't do that. You can't hit six figures. And then with marketing, what? No, you can't. But it takes you to believe that you're going to make it happen no matter the circumstances, no matter the criticism. You have people like us, guys. Ask, how did you guys get there? What did you guys do? And we're learning from people who got even higher. We're asking them, yo, how did you get there? What did you do differently? Because we're trying to get there as well. This is not crab in the barrel, guys. Let's pick each other up. The next person that comes up, we help the next person that helps us, that we help the people under us. We can all win here. As you see, the comp plan does not discriminate. It doesn't matter where you're from, who you are, or your gender, or your race, your ethnicity. It says, help these many people, you're going to get this much money. That's all it says on that comp plan. So, guys, take advantage. I'm going to drop the link one more time like i said just like comment and subscribe guys the the video is literally about dream building about a, how to build your dreams your vision and if you see every video on the channel is going to be something related to your growth you know that was a challenge for me i never got on youtube i use youtube for personal development but i've never been on youtube myself and i said to myself 2020 you got to push yourself outside the box you better go outside and preach to these people how you preach, but show them, show in a video, show them the actions that they have to take so they can win. I said, perfect, I'm gonna put it on my back. I don't know anything about YouTube, but let's make it happen. Because people like us guys, like he said, we're slept on because we're really real about what we're saying. When you have a true leader, a true leader is not somebody who's always gonna be respected and commanded in front of everybody. Because while everybody else is partying and doing all these cute stuff, we're here right now in the trenches with you guys to just speak our truths, to speak what got us here. So don't always do it for recognition because at the end of the day, who you will impact will appreciate everything you've ever done. So Q, if you have any final words, guys, thank you for being on. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Like I said, we're going to do this more often. I feel like we definitely got 